Hey guys, this is Chris coming back with another video for the actual channel called Sessions with Nola. All right, we're going to kind of do some jumping around a little bit on this channel when it comes to some tutorials. So a lot of times people have questions about pregnancy. Will I get pregnant? Am I pregnant? Um, you know, questions around time frame and wish to get pregnant, et cetera, et cetera. Um, why can't I get pregnant or what's going on with the pregnancy? There are a few cards that signify pregnancy in the actual tarot deck. The first card that signifies pregnancy is actually the Empress. All right. That is literally the card of fertility, the card of nurturing. If you see it in the upright position, that is positive to me. That's like, okay, babies, babies in your cards, right? Uh, you, it looks like things will be well. However, if you see it in a reverse position, that talks about there may be some fertility issues, a block, right? Um, maybe a pregnancy that was missed, a pregnancy where you got pregnant and then the baby no longer had a heartbeat. So you would see it there. People having challenges even getting pregnant, right? In reverse. All right. So that is the Empress. The next card of the fertility, I mean, of pregnancy, of course, is the sun card. Baby's right there. Um, and the sun card represents, of course, uh, you know, a positive. So when somebody says, you know, am I pregnant? You can use the sun card to say, why? Yes, because the sun card indicates positivity or success. Or if somebody says, will I have success in getting pregnant? If it's in an upright position, you can say, why? Yes. Right. Somebody may say, well, am I pregnant? If it's in reverse, you can always read that as a negative. Right. You can read a negative as that is a negative. So that is the sun card. The next card that I would say that I use a lot to do pregnancy cards is the Page of Cups. Hmm. That is a really good one, too. The Page of Cups is actually news of a birth. So somebody, you know, pregnant. Well, it's, you know, so I thought, you know, looks like Nicki Minaj was pregnant. This is one of the cards you can that I determine, oh, why, in fact, she's, you know, she will get pregnant or she is pregnant. Page of Cups. This card is exactly directly tied to news of a birth. A new beginning, some change is happening. Um, the next card that is a very popular card to determine birth is the Ace of Cups. This is actually a uh, the, another fertility card, just like the Empress. This signifies fertility. Now, this could also, you know, in an upright position, it talks about yeah, positive for pregnancy. You will get pregnant, new pregnancy. But if it were in reverse, right? Somebody's like, you know, hey, I hadn't taken a test yet. Am I pregnant? This could be like, yeah, you may have a false result in pregnancy, right? So that is the Ace of Cups. Your next card is actually the Three of Cups, right? And the Three of Cups is talks about birthdays, birth, birth as well. Uh, this is actually a, some news around, you know, around uh, something successful. But this card is also used to do births. Now, a lot of times people use this for third party situations, but you would be using this as if somebody were cheating. Like if you ask that question, like, is so-and-so cheating? You can use this as a third party card. But when it comes to birth, births or acknowledging a birth or pregnancy, you can use this card. And the Ace of Wands is also... Another card that is really positive, right? This talks about, again, some uh, some movement happening, uh, feeling full, a uh, desire to get pregnant, creation of life. This is also another card. So you, in tarot, there are six cards that are, for me, specifically, that you can use to determine, um, to determine birth. And if you paid attention to it, Page of Cups, uh, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups. There is a lot of water in these, in these, uh, in this, in this thing here. Um, so I have the Empress, the Sun card, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords is also one of them. I forgot to pull it. Three of Cups and Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Do I have it? Six of Cups is also a card that I don't have in here, and it talks about. Uh, uh, Six of Cups is also an energy around. Um, uh, 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 becoming a parent or of uh, uh, bringing in life so you can use those cards to actually determine actual birth so if you wanted to know that now say for example somebody says um you know will i get pregnant i'm having uh, will i get pregnant i haven't been pregnant yet we've been trying and they have for example um the the the, the empress in reverse but they had the sun card right next to it i would say you know to to someone 
it looks like you'll have a, a pregnancy with some challenges, right? Because remember, the Empress in reverse is uh, fertility issues. But if you see the sun card here next to it, that signifies that that person still has the potential and the hope to have a baby because the sun card is next to it, right? Now, if you had both of them in reverse, that was like, girl, you got fertility issues and there's a block, a negative result. So that means you would have, uh, you would have more of a challenge in actually getting pregnant if you see something like that. But that's the energy that's around us. So let's talk about ages, identifying ages too while we're a part of this. Ages in tarot is a uh, page. Page is actually uh, female, zero to twenty-one years old. Um, knight is actually a male, twenty-one to thirty-five. King is ex grown man. Um, that's actually uh, the king in any any you know uh, deck. A uh, queen is actually a grown woman. A fool is an immature person. So if you get the fool card, it's an immature person. And if you get um, the uh, the page with a woman or a man that's over 35, that means you're immature. So for example, if you, a page represents a girl in most decks, right? But if you got, um, for example, if you got, let me see what deck I'm using. If you got a, a page with possibly a king of wands and it's like you know that would tell me that that person is a male right remember king is a person over um 35 a grown man right um that would tell me that this person is even though he's a mature man he has a little bit of immaturity with him so that's ages so again um uh, page is zero to 21 years old female and in most decks, knight is 21 to 35 years old. King is a grown man. Queen is a grown woman. The fool is an immature person as well. And then you can use the page to signify immaturity for male or female. That's over 35. All right. Or a male or female. That's just literally a male or female. That's If you have a male or female, it's supposed to be a grown adult, right? 25, 26, 21. And they have page energy that, or you know, or the fool next to it that still signifies immaturity. But that was just a quick tutorial on births and identifying ages, guys. I'll be back with um, um, another lesson on another day. I think we should start with the major arcanas and then go to the different suits, like the cups, the wands, the swords, and then the actual pentacles. So we'll start with maybe the full card and we'll just do some pulls, some short, some quick tarot with just each one. Okay. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming through.